Hello from the Midlands, we find ourselves at the Hawthorns. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's West Bromwich Albion and they face Hull City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. A look at the initial 11 for West Bromwich Albion. Well, when you see it like that, their central midfield players look a little bit isolated. But I'm expecting the two fullbacks to push up to make it more of a 3-4-3. And I think we'll see a lot of positional rotation in this starting 11. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Hull City. Well, they're going to play with the same formation out of possession, but I think we're going to see a lot of rotation from them when they do have the ball. And I expect their fullbacks to play a big part in this game. And so the match is underway. Robinson. Grant. Slide again, winning the ball. And what's more, they've kept it. Well, showing good patience. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, in the last game, he was absolutely outstanding. It wasn't just the two goals that he scored, but it was his general play, his link-up play, his ability to run beyond defenders, his ability on the ball to create. I think we're going to see more of the same today. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And that puts them in position. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Careless in possession. Can John Scott, that's John Scott, please make your way to the team. Callum Robinson. You have your ticket. And here's Jake Livermore. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Well, attacking possibilities. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. And using his body to good effect. Let's see about the delivery. Just far too close to the goalkeeper. Callum Robinson. Grady Diangana. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Cuts it back. Must be and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Promising possession, this. Can they forge ahead? Terrific piece of anticipation. Now, what can they do from here? 
Tom Eaves. Well, they have it again. Callum Robinson. Mowat. Jake Livermore. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Committed challenge. Grant. Opportunity! And he read it really well. Fine save. Trying to pick out a teammate. And the corner far too close to the goalkeeper. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Well, no surprise there. The hosts have enjoyed most of the possession, but unless they find some inspiration from somewhere, I'm not sure where the winner will come from. They certainly need to up the tempo. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Did his job defensively. Magnificent defending. The first half here comes to an end. Well, he was one of the better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, he struggled to have any real impact on the game. I think if they are to kick on in the second half, it's key that he sees a bit more of the ball. And hopefully with that, he can start to put that back line under a bit more pressure. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Grant Townsend on the ball Livermore they've lost it intercepting it intelligently could be a chance to break here Tom Eaves passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead well honestly I didn't mean to jinx them just wasn't a very good pass finally Jake Livermore well they're on the scent of something positive takes the shot well what a stop that was Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Coming onto the pitch, number 15, Andy Carroll. Substitution for Hull City. Coming off the pitch, number 9, Tom Eaves. To be replaced by... Can someone get on the end of this? Grady Diangana. 
could be. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Number 11, Greg Diangana. Coming onto the pitch, number 10, Matt Phillips. And now the delivery. It comes to absolutely nothing. Well, he's been forced out of play this time. Jones has it. Nicely cut out. Grant. And teammates to play it to. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Smallwood might really be able to trouble them here and they'll get ready for the throw in both managers deciding this is the time to change things around both teams going to the bench substitution for Hull City coming off the pitch Number six, Richard Smallwood, to be replaced by number 45, Liam Honeyman. Bush. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Might jump in front, and a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. Now sending it in, and he clears the danger. Liam Walsh. Well, racing past his man. Huddleston, can he finish this? Well, such a disappointment. Nil-nil it remains. Well, that should have been the winner. He just lacked composure when it mattered most. Carroll Oh, he's given us away Five minutes left And they'll be happy to have regained possession Carroll Molumbi, Carroll, now well, they're sitting ever deeper, trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away, but into the keeper's gloves. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Not a poor ball and easy for the keeper. And there's the whistle, all even at the end of 90 minutes.